So Baro Katir is here this weekend at the Mercury Relay, the Larunda Relay, and he's got a whole bunch of goodies that we're going to go over so you can see what he's got. And I'll cover what you can trade and what you can't trade and what might be worth it and what might not be worth it. So first thing he has is the Prisma Lens. This is the first time that this has come into the game today. So all the millions and millions of Warframe accounts, uh, if anybody has like not played the game in a long time or they take breaks, they're going to miss this. But this is brand new. There's going to be so many people that don't have this. So first time it's here. Grab this, definitely. You'll get Master Rank out of it. Normally, Prisma weapons are tradable. But this one apparently is not. It doesn't have the tradable symbol on it. So I got into uh, a trade with Sim over here. And we tried to trade the thing. And it didn't work. It wasn't letting me trade him the Prisma lens. So I don't know if this is a bug or this is intentional. Normally, I would tell you to grab extras of these because it's the first time it's here and there's going to be millions of Warframe accounts that don't have this. But because it's not tradable and we don't know if it's intentional or not, I can't tell you to get, grab this and get extras of them because that's an expensive risk. And I don't know if it's something DE wants on purpose or not, but that's a weird scenario and now you're aware of it. Moving on, we have Prime Cryo Rounds. We have Prime Firestorm. Uh, I would say definitely get this for yourself. This, you can get this if you have the leftover ducats and credits. The Prisma Yamako Cyandana. This is a Cyandana I'm always rocking on my Gauss if you've seen them in other videos. Uh, it's a great Cyandana. It's it's nice and you can colorize it nice. But it's just a Cyandana, no master rank out of that. We have the Axie A2 Relic, which has the Lex Prime Link and the Lex Prime Blueprint in it. So if you need any of those two parts, I'd say get this if you if you need them. Every other part that's in here for the Lex and the and the Forma as well, you can find those in other relics. So you're not getting this for any Lex. You're getting it for the Act Lex things if you need it. The Katir Color Palette, which, yeah, it's an extra color palette. So if you don't have it, go for it. Katir Atmos Earpiece, Katir Sentinel Mask, the Zephyr Immortal Skin that we have right here. You can check this out. Uh, it's looking good. So if you play Zephyr or you're looking for a skin for her, you can go for that. The Katir Arrow Skin, what's great about these is unlike some other arrow skins that come around for like events that disappear after you shoot an arrow, this will last forever. This is a skin for your arrows 24-7 uh, all the time. So that's a cool skin. The Viper Wraith, this it says it's tradable. It's got the little symbol on it, as you can see right there. And it is Master Rank, so grab that if you don't have it. The EOS Prime armor set right here is a cool armor set, and I'd say, yeah, if you have extra ducats and credits, go for it. The Eminence uh, color palette, definitely get this, because this is just cool looking, if you're into those colors or whatever, but it's an extra color palette, so might as well. Prime Pack Leader, which if you don't have this, yes, you should get that. This is just a skin for the machete, so it's not master rank out of that. This is a decoration that you can kind of hang up in your... Orbiter, Dojo, wherever you want to put it, but it moves. It looks like that. Scrawl for under your K drive. So basically, it's just looking like this. It'll go on the bottom of your K drive. I guess I don't have the right K drive to really show that off because I've got my vested one, but whatever. That's what that look. That's a K drive scroll. Grav and Latrox posters. That's just a decoration. Vastalock. This says it's tradable. It is a weapon. You can get Master Rank out of it. So if you don't have it, go for it. This is the Faypath Ephemera. As you can see, it's it's like the little leaves or branches or whatever that are shooting up out of the ground here. So you can walk around with your Warframe and have this Ephemera on. Then we have the Sands of Anaros Blueprint. This is if you don't own regular vanilla Anaros, you can get the Blueprint for the quest that you need to get him here. And then if you are Anaros, when you talk to Borrow, this will show up. This is Borrow Void Signal. Basically, you can do this five times and get up to five rewards uh, max for doing this. So I don't know how many you're actually allowed to buy, but what I would recommend doing is split this amongst friends if you have any. Uh, last video I made, people were saying they don't have any friends, which is unfortunate. Come hang out with me, you'll make friends with our community and everything, it's Warframe community here. But I would definitely try to find people in the game that you can like use one and every everybody uses one at a time and you can just do this up to four or five times however many times it lets you but every time you do this you're going to get like an extra cosmetic uh that you'll you'll be able to rock on your warframe so it's pretty cool all it is is a defense mission where you're defending baro katir for 10 waves so he's a walking defense target 
Now, out of everything that Baro has that's tradable, let's go over what may or may not be worth you getting for Platinum. So, really quick, Prisma Lens should be tradable, but isn't. This is a risk. I would stay away from this because it's an expensive risk. If you buy extras of these and DE decided, well, we don't want Prisma Lens, we don't want Prisma Weapons tradable anymore. So, food for thought. Prime Cryo Rounds, I would say, personally, if I were to buy anything off of this list, I would buy Prime Cryo Rounds because I have seen this in trade chat. I know that this can be sold, and it's kind of a mod that people are should have. Everybody should have this one. Prime Firestorm is a little more niche, so I don't think it's going to sell as well as Prime Cryo Rounds. And same thing with Prime Pack Leader. This is a good one, but I still feel that Prime Cryo Rounds tops it as far as like what's worth getting to trade. And then we have the Axie A2s. This, you will probably see a lot of these in chat. A lot of requests to buy these. Although, they're not, you're not going to make a lot of platinum off of this. So, personally, I wouldn't get this. Because the amount of ducats and credits that I would spend to buy a bunch of these. Just to make a little measly amount of plat. I don't really feel is worth it. So, you can if you really need easy, easy plat. Or you have loads of extra ducats and credits. But overall, I wouldn't do this. And then the Viper Wraith. And the Vastalok, these are tradable, but I also don't really see people asking for these a lot in trade chat either. So I don't really recommend getting those. The Borrow Void Signal, I think more people would be asking for this if they even knew it existed. But I think most people just aren't really aware that it's even a thing. So it's not getting asked for a lot in trade chat. Otherwise, I could see this being tradable and people wanting, you know, extra copies of this. That's what's tradable, and that's my two cents on Borrow and what he has this time around. All that being said, we have digital tickets for Tenocon that just went live yesterday. So for those of you that are either brand new to the game and you're really liking it, you want to collect everything that Borrow has, uh, or for those of you that maybe, you know, take breaks fairly often, every once in a while, whatever it may be, and you miss out on, like, Borrow coming around, you can grab a digital ticket uh, from DE on their website. I think they're $24.99 USD. And you'll have access to Borrow and everything he has ever brought when he comes around for Tenocon. So I have made this. This is actually a, a bonus that I have for Tier 2 Patreons of mine. And what I'm going to do is for anybody that does become a Patreon and winds up telling me in my Discord. Like if you're a Tier 1 Patreon and you wind up in my Discord... Uh, tell me, and I will give you this, like, separately. I'll give you access to this. So, normally this is a Tier 2 reward, but here's how it works. It's a, basically a list of every single thing Borrow's ever had. I'm going to add the Prisma Lens to this. And you can check off all the things that you own, and what it does is it reduces the overall price for the ducats and the credits. So, for those of you that are still trying to collect things from Borrow, you could see right here how many ducats you have left once you check everything off. You could say, alright, this is how many more ducats I have left to accumulate this is how many more credits I have left to accumulate. This way you're prepared for Borrow. You know that you'll have enough when he comes around. And you can just grab them from Borrow when he gets here. So that's the whole purpose of this. It's incredibly helpful. And I know there's a lot of people already that are enjoying using that. But just let me know if you do become a Patreon. I highly appreciate it. Um, you guys are the best. That's how, that's what's going on with Borrow and everything happening today. Hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you all in the next one.